So the reason why we sued the Dutch government is because it's really the last step that we had in order to uh, get them to adhere to their obligations under international law. Um, and we also know that the parts that uh, the Dutch government is supplying on the F-35, that that is likely contributing to serious violation of international humanitarian law. Uh, despite that, they are continuing to supply these weapons. And um, if the, the minister has decided to continue uh, doing that, um, which is in a violation of his own obligations. So what we really went to the court for is to, in order to force them to adhere to their own obligations. And today the court has ruled, fortunately, that um, that is indeed correct and that the minister and the government have indeed um they were incorrect in supplying these weapons and to continue supplying those yeah i think so i think it is mostly important in the regard that you need that uh, european countries have a strong obligation to uphold international law and i think that was a very clear conclusion by the judge the judge ruled that the dutch government was wrong in their decision that they were weighing different elements against each other like on the one hand you have their obligations under the arms trade treaty and under the geneva conventions but the dutch government was saying yes but we made a decision and we balanced those factors against for instance foreign, foreign policy uh, factors or uh, security considerations or the fact that we want to be a uh, trustworthy supply partner and the court ruled today in a very clear statement that they were saying like yes that's not what you cannot do you have an obligation on the Geneva Conventions and the Arms Trade Treaty and you need to be very clear in that you uphold the international law in that regard as well and you can't balance that with foreign policy uh, factors so, um, to my understanding, at least, it's, this is not like easily uh, that another European country can take this over because technically all European countries have to abide by the same rules.